here's what I started with. Um, you can see that there's a bit of corrosion in the boat and need a little work. So I plan to turn this John boat into a bass boat. So here's the plan that I had. We was gonna, there were gonna be a front deck with a storage area, but the plans changed a bit as it went along. And you can see here that the construction right here supports for the deck. There's gonna be a floor here and a floor here trying to make the floors flat so you can stand easily. Um, here's how the seats are gonna be mounted. You know, there'll be pedestals mounted to these captured nuts and bolts and weld it to the existing seat. This is an idea I had. Um, I changed it. It was a little too complicated for what we're doing. And there was going to be a storage in the middle of the deck, but we chose not to do that, even though this is that was the plan originally. So it changed just being a straight deck. Here I am getting the template set up, and so the deck, this is the template for the deck for the floor. This is a template for the front floor. And this will help flatten out things so you can stand easier. So get your template laid out onto your metal and put some perpendicular lines to help you make sure things are square. And mark the metal and then cut it out. So now that I have it cut out, um, and how it fits underneath there'll be a frame to hold it up and here I'll have to cope this out to fit this shape so now that I have my floors cut out it needs to fit down in there up against the wall of the boat nice and tight because it's going to be welded up and to seal a little bit I'll have a little edging that's going to help this but I want to get as close as possible So I found some corroded areas and patched these up to make this all solid again. And then started working on getting the horizontal bracing in. This will be the frame for the deck to sit on to add the strength. And it'll be welds there and be a vertical support here on each one. And now that I have these mounted in solidly, then I can add a little additional bracing. You can see here, and I'll lop these off so they're, they're not sharp. So if you're not sticking your hand in there and trying to get something from under the deck, you may be storing life vest or whatever, you won't cut your hand on it. This is where the deck's gonna go and be supported. Let's take a look at how the deck fits on here. So tack the deck down so that it's not moving around. It's fitting it onto the um, its supports. You can see it's also coped into the nose of the boat so it's nice and neat. Okay, this is the floor and the floor support. So this is what's gonna support the floor against the bottom of the boat. So, you know, you can have a look at this. You can see how this structure is made to help support the flat aluminum sheet. So that the aluminum sheet is not the only thing that's holding itself up. And there's a slot so that it can fit around the vertical support of the deck. Here's another look at the rear floor, which is bigger than the, the front floor. And this is the supports for it. It's quite a bit bigger. And you know the front floor has that. And this is where the pedestals for the seats will go. 
with its reinforcements. And here's a better look at the underfloor structure that supports the floor. Now let's have a look at the seat mounts. So those four holes are going to line up with the holes on this mounting plate. And it'll fit down into the holes like this to kind of give it a little, you know, uh, we call it uh, more solidly mounted so it's indented into the existing piece. You can see how they line up. Bam, it's right there. pedestal mounts down on these bolts like this with a spacer that helps make it tight and then your chair will sit up on this pedestal this is spacer so that the nuts don't interfere with you tightening down the pedestal to the mount. See how it sits flat here? That allows it to be tight and tightened down to the uh, pedestal mount. So now to add the foam to the floor, so the foam adds structure to the floor and some buoyancy in case the boat flips over. I had to make cutouts here so that they could go across these, the ribbing in the base of the boat hull so that it wouldn't rack, rock back and forth and that it was flat on the floor and solidly mounted down into the boat. So the deck and the floor is complete. The owner is going to put down carpet and put the seats in and he'll be ready to go. Hope you liked the video. Here's some ideas for you. Try them out. Let me know what you think.